Simmons. No good. Memphis, they've got it. Conley. Surveys the floor to Gasol. Short jumper misses. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dogfight. Hey, Here comes the right, screen. Right, right. Simmons to Butler. The drive right to the basket. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Jimmy Butler at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 83% free throw shooter. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. Across the timeline, it's Conley. He'll run the offense. Here comes the screen to Gasol. Five on the shot clock for Memphis. Trying to cash in. Gasol shot off the mark. Woo, I like that intensity on that play. That's how you actually dig in the dirt and do your job on the defensive end. To Butler. Five on the shot clock for Philadelphia. Butler not getting the bounce. Conley in the front court. Five point game. From the outside, no good. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. To Gasol, down low. Amir Johnson. Whoa! Whoa. Get that out of here. Message sent, Jay. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Conley buries it on the catch and shoot. I mean, does he have eyes in the back of his head or what? I get paid money to watch and study this game daily. Even I didn't see that angle. To Butler. Here comes the screen. A drive by Butler, but his shot won't fall. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. Sixers finally break through. 52 wins last year. But, Jay, where do they factor in in a top-heavy Atlantic division? I still see this team finishing on the outside looking in. What I mean by outside is the two or three spot. I think this is Boston's division to lose, Boston's conference to lose. But still, the question marks with Toronto, Kawhi Leonard, does he really want to be there, changing up their coach, what's going on with that franchise? And the question mark still is around Ben Simmons and his ability to shoot the ball down the stretch. To Butler. Has a chance. Gets a look. Can't hit. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Conley into the front court. Down just a couple. To Gasol. Mark Gasol. He's three for seven. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Butler to bring it up. Looking to make something happen. Runners good there. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Across the timeline, it's Conley. Down two. 
Knocked loose. Sixers have it. Picked up by Memphis. It's Mike Conley with the two. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Fultz to Butler. Has a look. Butler with a shot, no good. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. To false. Spinning shot, won't fall. Temple, tough matchup against Butler to Gasol. Mark Gasol, now four for nine. <laughs> I'm laughing because when you look at Mark Gasol, he's not the fastest big guy in the game. He's not the smoothest, nor is he the best shooter. But you know what he is? He's prepared and he's experienced. That's why he can get you 17 to 18 to 19 points per night or more, and you get a tough low post presence. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Butler. To Fultz. Down to five on the 24. Fultz. Another chance. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Tie ball game so far. Neither one of these teams really able to pull ahead. Might be time to put the bench players in the game and let's see who could differentiate themselves. To Dylan Brooks. Screen coming, Dylan Brooks. Matched up with Jimmy Butler. Oh, he had him there for a second. How you practice leads to that. Nice pump fake. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Philadelphia with the basketball. To Butler. Won't go. Jay Marcus saw Mike Conley, they're proven commodities, but what about the rest of this Memphis roster? Well, Ed, that's been one of the criticisms of the Grizzlies is that when a guy like Mike Conley goes down, who can fill in that void? Now, I give them a lot of credit in the offseason. They bring in Shelvin Mack. They find a way to sign Kyle Anderson, which is big time land for them in free agency. And look what they've done in the draft over the past two years. Last year in 2017, they get Dylan Brooks and Ivan Rapp giving them depth at those positions. Now they get a guy like Javon Carter in the second round who can apply pressure at the point guard spot. And when you land Jaron Jackson, you're on your way. And a chance coming up at the line. Justin Patton at the line. Off the mark on the first free throw. Second one's good. Splits the pair. Conley into the front court. They can get a two for one if they play this right. Dylan Brooks. 
Parsons, defended by Patton, to Dylan Brooks. Trying to cash in. Brooks with a shot, no good. Fultz into the front court. Shot clock turned off. They can get within one or tie it with a three. Markel Fultz, two for three now here in the first. Deep three at the buzzer. That's it for the first quarter. The Grizzlies out in front. to the second quarter. Neither team sees control in the first. Some interesting things, though, certainly on display. Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they wanted to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. Screen coming. Dylan Brooks. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Fires the three. He was all over him. Fultz with the basketball, down a point. To Butler, here comes the screen. Butler, knocked loose, taken away by the Grizzlies. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Conley, now that's a contest. Sixers control it, Butler. To Fultz. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. Great job, Ed, by the shooter to create contact after the jump. That's how you get to the free throw line. Markel Fultz at the line for two shots. A career 47% free throw shooter. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two. Coming off a disappointing year, Jay, just 22 wins for Memphis. What has to happen for them to make the jump into relevance again? Well, they're clearing cap space, which is good for the future of the franchise. Number two, they're starting to get healthy when you get a guy like Mike Conley back. And number three, you have young prospects who are actually solid draft picks. When you think about Jaron Jackson and Javon Carter trying to rebuild, once again, the new grind city. Joel Embiid, he's finally on the board, makes his first shot. Can we take a second to talk about the most gregarious personality in the NBA? We don't trust in the process. No, 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 no. We're beyond the process. Joel Embiid has emerged as this generation Shaquille O'Neal, and he's done it in a variety of ways. He's a dominant big who doesn't shy away from the physicality of the game. Probably the reason why he was up for Defensive Player of the Year. And also, he has a personality that baits you into a conversation, whether you like it or not, and he's pretty hysterical. This kid is going to be a star in the league for years to come, and you better pay attention to what he has to put down. To Embiid. Butler. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Grizzlies at the controls right now. Conley to Jaron Jackson. With a drop step. Goes reverse to lay it in. Old school equals high percentage. Into the front court comes Smith. Leads one. Joel Embiid. He's two for two now. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Conley. Pick up the screen. Pick up the screen. Pick up the screen. 
five on the shot clock. He buries it, creating space with the step back. Okay, I saw a little bit of a handle there, but let's see if that confidence is still there down the stretch. Butler, 2 MB. Working the outside. Picked up by Memphis. Dylan Brooks matched up with Jimmy Butler. Knocked loose. Taken by the Sixers. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Butler to Fultz. Taken away by the Grizzlies. Here comes the screen. To Conley. Fires the three. Yeah, Mike Conley. No one in his zip code takes advantage for three. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Changes coming from both sides right now. Markel Fultz to McConnell. From the painted area, won't go down. Shot from the lane, won't go. Simmons with it. They trail by two to Fultz. Nice swat that time. Ooh, not skipping a beat. There are some things that you just cannot teach. That's called a 6'10 frame with a 7'5 wingspan. Fultz into the front court. He'll run the offense. He gets it. I know this for a fact, Ed. Ben Simmons wanted to channel his inner Bill Russell during the NBA Awards as he stood up on that stage accepting that Rookie of the Year trophy, looking down at all the people that hated on him and didn't think that after a year of being injured that he can come back and be the one that everybody thought he could be. One of only seven players in NBA history to lead his team to 50-plus wins while accepting the Rookie of the Year trophy. Amir Johnson sends it away. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. throw. Here's Simmons with it up top. Trailing by four. Two MB. Joel MB. Three for three in this first half. Joel MB looking to take his game to a completely different level after working out with one of the best trainers in the league this offseason. An all-star for the first time last year, averaging 23 points. Safe to say, no longer trust the process. Joel Embiid is the process. Knocked loose, and that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Grizzlies. 
Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Number 33, Mark Gasol. Simmons into the front court. Down two. Joel Embiid. Short jumper off the mark. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Right, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. To Kyle Anderson. From long range. Oh, knocks it down from three. I got to be real here. I think he was the only one expecting to shoot that shot. The crowd, the coaching staff, every other player on the court and myself, all of our mouths are left wide open right now. McConnell to MB. Oh, emphatic slam. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Here comes the screen. To Gasol. Beyond the arc for three. Not done yet. Offensive board. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Sixers have the basketball. Simmons to Embiid. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Anderson. right there and a put back slam Woo, that's nasty right there Simmons with it down five to MB yes and a foul he'll have a chance at a three-point play people become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get AM ones. Joel Embiid trying to cash in on a three point play for his career 77% at the line. Off the mark at the line. Deep left corner. They work it down to Gasol. Can't connect from in close. To Simmons. Fultz. A oh, good defense by Memphis as they come up with the steal. To Gasol. Defense, defense, defense. Good. Off a spin. Oh, man. You're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for builds. Simmons to Fultz. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Memphis with the rock. To Gasol. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Simmons to Embiid. Able to convert inside. 
And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. To Kyle Anderson. And the finish. Jay, that was unguardable. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Markel Fultz to Embiid. And the rebound comes down to Selden. Now a steal by Philly. To Simmons. Off the assist. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Gasol. Scores from the post. Fultz with the basketball. Five-point game. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Now that the process has been established, it's going to be fun to see how much better Joel Embiid can be this season. Everybody heard about his arduous off-season workout program, but the thing I love about him the most, he always works on his game, even if he's dunking on random fans on vacation. Good song. Has a chance. Green with a shot that won't go down. To Embiid. Not that time. Sixers have it. So the difference? Three points as we've reached the break. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. The Grizzlies are in a tight battle after two quarters. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Memphis Grizzlies. The 76ers aren't down by too much at the half. And even though they don't have the lead, they're doing a great job of moving the ball around. They might find themselves on the winning end of the scoreboard if they can keep it up. Have a look at the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. Game track. Bench points. The coaches are getting the kind of bench production that can make for some interesting rotations. Keep an eye on the substitution patterns in the second half. Player of the half. Mark Gasol was lighting up the scoreboard in the first half. And I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure out what it'll take to slow him down. He looks like he's in a zone. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. 
Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Back to you. Tight game through the first two quarters as we resume play here in the third. To Gasol. Around the perimeter. Dylan Brooks goes to the right side. To Jaron Jackson. Sixers able to clear the rebound. Knocked loose. Picked up by Memphis. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. In the front court comes Simmons. The deficit now up to five. Here comes the screen. McConnell to Simmons. To McConnell. Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Simmons to McConnell. 4-3. TJ McConnell is going to get a chance at three here for his career, 76% from the line. And he connects on the first free throw. He delivers with two free throws. And he hits all three free throws. To Dylan Brooks. Jaron Jackson with the dunk. And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Simmons with it. His guys trail now by four. Oh, oh denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Grizzlies own the basketball. Had a chance, but it's no good. Here's Simmons with it up top. Looking to make something happen. To McConnell. They'll get it down to Johnson. Not that time. To Dylan Brooks. Shot from the lane, won't go. Simmons into the front court. Down four. Oh, nice find for the basket. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Pick up, pick up, pick up. To Jaron Jackson. Here comes the screen. Jaron Jackson. A bad pass as the Sixers come up with this steal. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Here comes the screen to Gasol. He hits. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Philadelphia with the basketball. Simmons to Embiid. Can't connect. Yes. 
and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Dylan Brooks at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 74% free throw shooter. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. Simmons with it. He'll run the offense. To Embiid. Knocks it down from mid-range. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Dylan Brooks to Gasol. Uh, not today. In the front court comes Simmons. His guy's down three. To MB. Butler. Count the basket. I tell you, he's so special, Ed. He makes the game look easy. A lot of hard work to make it look easy. Conley into the front court. Leads just a point. From the painted area, won't go down. To Simmons. Slams it down. Big finish for Joel Embiid. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Across the timeline, it's Conley. His guys now down by a point. Short jumper off the mark. Oh, ben Simmons. Now four for nine. As a rookie last year, Ben Simmons averaged 16 points a game and posted 12 triple-doubles, the second most by any rookie in NBA history. Or was last year really his rookie year? We can debate that one later. Nothing going here on that drive. Has a look. And he buries it on the step back. Jay, this move continues to evolve since the days of Allen Iverson. It does so much, Ed, when you step back east or west while maintaining your dribble. Look at all your options. Number one, a hezzy. You look at the rim. The defender jumps. You blow by him. Number two, maybe a crossover in the same direction you just came from to throw the defender off. Or number three, a raise into an easy jump shot. It's easy when you have this bag of tricks. And when the game's on the line, that's arguably when it's most dangerous. Now the Grizzlies will use a timeout as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. Shifting gears, here come some substitutions. This Grizzlies, number one, Kyle Anderson. Conley. To Kyle Anderson. Trying to cash in. And the rebound taken in by Johnson. Waller into the front court. Up by three. To Embiid. 
Butler. Missed it. Conley. Fine to shoot. To Conley. Mike Conley. He's 5 for 10, shooting 50%. It's so good to see a healthy Mike Conley out there running the show. He only played 12 games last season, but when he's healthy like this, that kid's special. It's Grizzlies ball. Anderson to Conley. Sizing up the defense. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to do with the defender all over you. To Gasol. And Simmons the rebound. Simmons with it. Leads one. Knocked loose. Taken away by the Grizzlies. Conley matched up with Jimmy Butler. Grizzlies with four to shoot. Deep two there, won't go. See, I don't like that shot right there. Pass the ball, get the defense moving, maybe set a hard screen, roll to the rim, see the ball go in a couple of times before you settle for a mid-range jumper that's contested. Memphis, they've got it. Conley, download this all. Can't connect from in close. Muller to bring it up. Leads three. To Simmons. Here comes the screen. Simmons. Jimmy Butler for two. Wide open look, won't go. Knocked loose. Taken by the Sixers. Oh, emphatic slam. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Conley to Gasol, down low. Scores from the post. It's really a dope thing when passing becomes infectious, but don't become overly passive. Still take your shots when they're there. To Fultz. Butler. No good. No daylight. Great defense. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow-through to be cut short, which made him short on the shot. Jay, it's a huge question in Philadelphia. What can Markel Fultz be in his second NBA season? He could be a former number one pick. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Mutombo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Joel Embiid swats it. Second block in this quarter. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Short jumper stays out. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. Embiid to Fultz. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. He even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there.
Amir Johnson trying to cash in on the three-point play. For his career, 67%. The free throw, good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. Grizzlies at the controls right now. Conley. Parsons guarded by Jimmy Butler. Shot won't go. Conley into the front court, trailing by four. Step back. No doubt about where that one was headed. Baller into the front court. Less than a minute to go in this third quarter. Fultz to Butler. To Fultz. Butler for two. It's rebounded by Gasol. Deep left corner. Conley. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Here's a chance from long range. Can't connect. made those before but that was well defended that'll do it third quarter complete it's the Sixers out in front It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Fultz into the front court. The lead is two. Here comes the screen. To Fultz. Butler. Shot clock winding down. Missed a wide open look. Conley into the front court. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. Nothing going here on that drive. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Conley. Tough shot. Well defended. Muller to bring it up. Two point advantage. To false. Conley to Jaron Jackson. Jaron Jackson with the dunk. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Jermichael Green sizing up Butler. Markel Fultz to Butler. Here comes the screen. Fultz to Butler. Five seconds to shoot to Butler. Let's it fly from long range. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. Parsons matched up with Jimmy Butler. In a flash. Scores at the rim. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Sixers control it. 
Butler. Take stock of the floor. To faults. Markel Fultz. Oh, three for eight. He's got to do better. Look at that. Calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys rush those. Nice extra move there. Conley to Jaron Jackson. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Ed, you can't lunge like that. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Anderson. Number one, Kyle Anderson. They'll get it down to green. Shot from the lane won't go. Fultz with the basketball. All leave it here in the fourth. Here comes the screen. Markel Fultz to Butler. Shot clock. It's coming down to four. Now down to three. Memphis with the run. Conley. Here comes the screen. Temple guarded by Patton. To Conley. For three. And knocks it down. Jay for the defender. Tough to gamble once the ball's behind the arc. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Here comes the screen. Fultz. Shot clock winding down to Butler. Not that time. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. Here comes the screen. He's on the deck. Great sacrifice. That's out of bounds. Last touch by a sixer. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, and the rebound taken by Chandler. Sixers have the basketball. Markel Fultz to Butler. Down to five on the 24. And Jimmy Butler knocks it down off the step back. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Across the timeline, it's Conley. His guy's now trailing by a point. To Gasol. Conley. And he dunks it down for two. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Colling in the front court. His guys now down by a point. To Jaron Jackson. Here comes the screen. Joel Embiid rejects it. That's his third block this evening. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Conley into the front court. Down by one. To Jaron Jackson. Kyle Anderson. Tough matchup against Butler. To Conley. Going to launch beyond the arc. Good contest on the three. Conley misses. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To false. 
Embiid. Mark Gasol pins it. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Butler picked up by Memphis. And scores. Strong take. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Butler into the front court. Down a point. To Fultz. Knocked loose. Fultz. The Sixers with four to shoot. The screen sets him up for two. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost him. The whistle and a timeout for Memphis as they'll talk things over in a one-point basketball game. I think everyone in this building knows it's going to come down to the last two minutes. This game is going to be won, but who decides to really show up on the defensive end of the ball? Coming in for both sides. For the Memphis Grizzlies, number 24, Dylan Brooks. Deep two there, won't go. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Butler to MB. Knocked loose. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Marcus Gasol. It remains Sixers basketball. Butler. And he stays cold from deep as he misses another one. It's no good. Grizzlies own the basketball. From the outside, no good. Butler to bring it up. Leads just a point. To Embiid. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. The Misses the first. Stepping in for Philadelphia, number 25, Ben Simmons. Stepping in. Second one goes, it's a one of two trip. Across the timeline, it's Conley. His group now down two. Goes to the left side, to Conley. Here comes the screen, Conley. Down low Anderson. From the painted area, won't go down. Doesn't have the touch. No good. The follow won't go either. Conley in the front court. Down just a couple. Sixers have it. Simmons. With the flush. Taking on all comers. No excuse to not be a little bit more physical there on the defensive end. Needed that stop. Conley into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Knocked loose. Taken by the Sixers. McConnell to Embiid.
scores from the post. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. To Gasol. Joel Embiid snatching it out of the air. Fourth this contest. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Embiid, good for two. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. To Gasol. Five on the shot clock for Memphis. A shot by Green, no good. To Simmons. McConnell, bad pass, taken away by the Grizzlies. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. To Gasol. To Kyle Anderson. Gasol. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. To Simmons. Embiid. To Michael Green. Huge block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Across the timeline, it's Conley. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. And he draws contact. Two shots coming up for the Spaniard, the All-Star, Marcus All. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. Marcus All, a couple of free throws on the way. For his career, 77% at the line. First one goes down. So he hits the first, misses the second. With a drop step. Smith with a shot, it won't fall. Knocked loose. Sixers have it. Intentional foul. He meant it. Smart play. You have fouls to use. Good way to manage the clock without burning a timeout. And they're going to play this one out to its conclusion as we get an intentional foul. That means free throws coming up in what is a seven-point game. I know this for a fact, Ed. Ben Simmons wanted to channel his inner Bill Russell during the NBA Awards as he stood up on that stage accepting that Rookie of the Year trophy, looking down at all the people that hated on him and didn't think that after a year of being injured that he can come back and be the one that everybody thought he could be. One of only seven players in NBA history to lead his team to 50-plus wins while accepting the Rookie of the Year trophy. Now the Grizzlies will use a timeout. It's their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one more chance to stop the clock before the buzzer sounds.
off the mark. He loves the tough shots, but that one may be too tough. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer. Shot at the buzzer does indeed go down, but it only affects the final score. This ball game is over. The Sixers are victorious as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Game wrap up. The 76ers emerged victorious after a tight finish. And it's always great to watch a team with such an unselfish approach to the game. Plenty of assists were delivered throughout this contest. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Grizzlies are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. And even though they shot so well from the field, I bet they're only thinking about the shots they missed. This was a tough game to lose. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Memphis Grizzlies. Game track. Assists. The teams in this matchup did a great job of moving the ball and keeping the game flowing. It was the sort of action fans love to see, and I definitely enjoyed it myself. The unselfish play made for a great game. Player of the game. Joel Embiid could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Look at what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.